Hello everybody, welcome back to Ziggy Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Last run was a little disappointing, it's okay, it is what it is. We're gonna actually do a challenge now, um, I don't know what we should do. I guess we should just do XL. that'll be our challenge. Okay, the burning basement one, so let's go. I guess we'll start by blowing this up. <laughs> but I think the main idea here that we want to do, what we want to accomplish, is to get some of these done, some of the challenge runs done, so that we can, uh, can unlock some new items to find. I know there's a bunch that I haven't found yet, but I think it'd be beneficial for everybody. What? How did you get through there? Son of a bitch. I was like, yes, he spawned in there, he's gonna die. Uh, my sadosadistical, sado? Pseudo-sadistical, uh... I'm having a rough time. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> it's just a statistical uh, thought there, but it's alright. They're my, some of my least favorite enemies. But, um, yeah. So this is my last recorded run of the evening. So I'm a little tired, a little worn out, but we're going to try to get through this this run. <laughs> it, it, it looks like it's just going to be one really long map. And there may or may not be any items to unlock. I don't know, we'll see. Like, we might not get item room items, so we might just get... Well, we might just have to fight bosses? I don't really know. Does it say Curse of the XL? No. It's just it's just a really big floor. So, yeah. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing well. I, uh... Ooh, I like these Cyclops guys. Getting the videos uploaded. People are talking to me in the comment section. It's so nice. It feels so good to talk to people, man. Um, I talk to people in real life, but it is nice to see that people are enjoying the content. If you do, you know, that's really cool, and I appreciate it, and it makes me feel slightly validated for all the time that I've been doing this. Um, you know, other than that, I just like playing video games too, but it feels good. Oh, God. Okay, what card are we gonna get? Um, Joker card would be sweet, because I'm not sure if we're supposed to actually get items. Two spades is not terrible, I guess. Depending on whether or not we actually get, uh... Oh god, Silas is telling me about these yellow flies. Just in case we get item rooms, but I don't know if we will. I haven't seen the semblance of a special room at all. I'm hoping that we get special rooms. Most challenges you typically don't get item rooms, so we'll see. And if it all takes place on the first floor, I can't imagine that's a very difficult challenge. Hmm... I wonder if we'll have to do multiple floors like this. Took red hard damage. It's the first floor you can't get a deal with the devil anyway. Ace of spades. No, I think we're gonna do lucky rock. In case there are... Okay, there are shops. So that's good. Good news. We've discovered there are shops. We're gonna keep looking around in case there's an item room. Typically there aren't item rooms, though. On... On the... Challenge runs. Who knows? Who knows? We have. Oh god, I'm an idiot. That's okay. There's a red heart right here. Don't even worry about it. Um, like I said on the last episode, I'm still trying to like relearn the game. I'm still trying to figure out new enemy patterns. That is not a viable excuse here because this is like the early, early floors and then there aren't really. I'm not running into a whole lot of new enemies here, but you know, it's still like it's a different game in a lot of ways. A lot of ways it's the same, but I never said I was good at the original Binding of Isaac Rebirth. That was pretty okay. Put a lot of time into it. Alright. Um. Yes, okay, so there are item rooms. Question is, how many? I think probably just one, considering the, the floor itself only says one. You know, Relic is solid. We're gonna duplicate our keys. I think eight keys is fine. Two of spades. Alright, let's go fight the boss. Whoever he may be. It's not the way to the boss. This is the way to the boss. I'm learning. We'll get there. Okay. So, who do we think it is? I'm guessing Monstro. Oh, Little Horn! I think this is the first time I've fought him not, like, in greed mode. Okay, so he can blow up his... He can hurt himself with his own bombs, like an idiot. He can shoot out his tears away. He's cute as heck, though. I like him a lot. 
He's really adorable. I want one. Can we get a plushie of this, please? I, I would cuddle a plushie, you little horn. Oh, whoa. Don't hold me, dog. Who do you think you are? Pretty sure those uh, those tears stay on screen for as long as he's doing the fight. Also, we just realized that maybe my resolution is slightly off. So we'll, we'll fix that in a second. It looks like it's a little too tall. Oh, we don't. We have to get rid of the tear first. Tear, get out of here. Okay, we get blood clot. Here, give me a moment. I apologize. I didn't even realize my resolution. Every time I start this up, this game up, it changes its resolution a little bit, and I don't know why. So, hey. Ho. Oh. It still doesn't seem quite right. Maybe it is. We'll try it. Center. It doesn't feel... Something feels off. Okay, I think what it is... Is my screen needs to be slightly wider. Okay, I think that's it. No, it looks a little too wide now. This is a great part for an episode. Don't worry about it, though. I think we're good. If it needs to be changed, I'll try to fix it between the next episode. But it looks like it's pretty okay. Looks like our HUD's all there. That's what matters. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, alright. Professionalism. For reals. Blood Clot's good. It's a damage upgrade. Cellar 2. Okay, so each of these is a, like, curse of the labyrinth floor, but it only is, like, one floor. It's just really large. So we're getting half as many items, extra large floors. Oh, wait, this is cellar too? Never mind, this is regular. This is normal stuff. Hmm. So each floor is just incredibly big. All the floors are regular though. Okay. Gotta keep our eyes out for special looking pennies, because apparently we have luck pennies now after beating greed mode. I don't really know what luck pennies do. So, or like, I know what they do, but I don't know how you find them. Um, we'll definitely grab this, because we don't want to be taking any red heart damage on uh, the second floor, in case we can deal with the devil. Which we've done a really poor job of doing so far. Oh my god, these yellow flies. Fucking nuts. But luckily we're in a big room, so they're not too scary. I really like these L-shaped rooms and the tiny rooms, too. I'm glad that they could add more, even more variety than, you know, Afterbirth did and Rebirth did in general. My bad. Okay. <laughs> I almost died to like the easiest switch room in the game. All right. Give me a moment. Boop. Cool. We're free to go. No problem. Oh. Let's stop taking really dumb damage. That would be great. If we stop taking dumb damage, we can have Relic pay out some more and. Spooks me every time because you, you come in and the spikes are still spawned. Get out of here, you spider spawner. Okay, we're safe. No, don't do it, you son of a bitch. Okay, all done. Solid work. And that's what we're looking for. More, more tinted rocks. Gotta blow up fires because we're getting pretty close to 15 cents. So whatever's going to make it, you know, help us get there. Is good. And especially, like, I'm willing to waste a bomb on just some rocks. If I have to in order to get enough money, I don't think I will, though. I don't think I'll have to. Cool. One more bomb would, would be sweet for that tinted rock, but it is what it is. I really like these hallways, too. It totally changes the way that you play in these areas. Wow. Either the relic is paying out super well, or uh, we're just getting super lucky. Um, it totally changes the way that you play these, too, because... Or play those rooms, because there are some rooms that are absolutely heinous. Um, especially in certain situations. I think during my first run with Lilith, I had, like, a really terrible run for her, where I had to, like, run past a bunch of, like, nubs, and they were just randomly shooting everywhere, and, like, I couldn't escape them. It was terrible. But, also, like, in the best way. Okay. Nothing but diglets here. We have another tinted rock. Drop a bomb for me, please. Let's do it. Let me see the bomb. Let me see the bomb. Keys. I've, I've, I've got plenty of keys. <laughs> just need bombs. Give me the bombs. 
Where are you hiding them all? Um. I wanted. That's the problem. I feel bad that I used a bomb earlier, but I shouldn't because like there's no way I could have known that that was gonna be there. Like that was gonna have so many rooms where like I was immediately gonna be able to get to a tinted rock, and like maybe reach chests or get spirit hearts and stuff. Another tinted rock. I swear to God. This room playing as the Lost is balls. I hate this room playing as the Lost. I hate any room of spiders playing as the Lost. But we're gonna have to do it again. Which sucks. And there's a bunch of different stuff we have to do. Oh, we can go in here for free. So we might as well. Bombs. Not troll bombs, just regular bombs, please. We got another golden key before we found another bomb. Or before we found a bomb. Alright, so... Our pills are retrovision. Which are kind of a pain in the butt, but it's fine for the most part. I know that we could walk across those spikes to get that golden chest, and in, in some ways it's tempting, but I think the hearts are more valuable to us, because the golden chest is only a small chance that we get bombs out of it. And if we do, with you know, like, we're paying back with all the stuff we're going to get. Sweet, okay. Where's the best place to use this? And I don't actually think it's right here. I think there's a different room with tinted rocks that works slightly better for us. I don't think it's this one down here, is it? No. There's... Oh, it's this room right here. So we actually want to place the bomb here? Yeah. So then we can get a guaranteed spirit heart and another chest, which contain Guppy's head, which is a solid space bar item. I have nothing against Guppy's head. Um, the flies are really helpful, and they do good damage, so... You know, it's all good. Well, we definitely want to fuck. <laughs> Blast for so long. Uh, we definitely want to find the item room. It'd be cool to become Guppy, but I don't know. I don't think you can get. Maybe you can get Guppy items in the item room, but it's very unlikely, potentially. I don't know. All I know is that it would be nice to get there. Not needed. We have the item room over here. Or not the item room, the. The store? The shop? Okay. More options, so even more options is nice. We'll grab the spirit heart for five cents. I actually think we're gonna take Lucky Rock and we're gonna grab this pill too. Maybe this bomb as well, because we're not getting as many consumables as I'd like. Bad gas isn't great, but it isn't hard for us to get more coins, especially if we use, um, shit. Especially if we use bombs. Okay, here we go. Sweet. Damn, son, we're all over those spirit hearts. And those also give you a charge, which is nice. Okay, so... We're backtracking, and that's okay. We went the complete wrong direction. This run might be a little bit long, but... It is what it is. Nothing, nothing we can do about it. Nothing we can do about it. I gotta learn to enunciate. We'll learn. I'll get better, I promise. Okay, we'll let the green nub get himself out of that mess. Okay, or we'll kill him. Damn. God damn, so many spirit hearts. This is either the best relic ever, or we're just super lucky. And I'm okay with both. I want to know what items we unlock. Maybe we unlock more runes or something, or pills. Depending on what we get. Okay. So. There's our boss room. Oh, man. I haven't run into these enemies yet. These are like fat diglets who explode out of the ground. I've seen the buttholes before. The buttholes are nothing new. I hate the little brown. They like literally just poop them out in the bubble. It's pretty nasty. I don't hate them. They're pretty cute, but... Cute little buttholes. What are you gonna do? Alright. I can't deny it. Okay, got all those. Oh my holy shit. If we don't get a deal with the devil on this floor, I will be very surprised. I don't think we've taken any red heart damage. We have fucking spirit hearts for miles and miles. You can't even see the edge of our spirit hearts. You can, but I'm exaggerating a little bit. I'm glad they added more worms. I hope there's worm items, you know? Like, we need some worm items. We've had no worm-related items lately. It makes me sad. This is what I meant. Like, as soon as we start getting bombs... 
it's going to become super easy for us to rack up a lot of money, a lot of consumables, a lot of spirit hearts. Uh, Dead Onion, Meg Mr. Mega. I think because of the lack of bombs we've had, I'm going to take Mr. Mega. Dead Onion, not Sad Onion, is pretty good though. And we're going to save these bombs for Tinted Rocks. We're just going to keep spawning more flies. That one only spawned one fly when we used it. That was weird. Um, I want to come back here. I think there was at least one more Tinted Rock fairly nearby. Not that we need it. There we go. But also because we can do this and it'll blow up all the rocks in here. And that's kind of what I was hoping for. I was like, if we get small rock, my day is made. We got small rock, our damage is looking dandy. And we're about to go fight our boss. Let's see who we're gonna, whose ass we're gonna kick. Pin. Oh, poor Pin. Rest in peace, buddy. You were not long for this world. All right. Okay, Halo, which is awesome, and a deal with the devil. Which contain Krampus. You know, and in all honesty, it could be worse, it could be better. We could have just gotten all red chests. And what this does is kind of still gives us a chance to deal with the angel. I haven't unlocked Godhead yet, like I haven't picked it up. Do you take Krampus' head? I actually think we still take Guppy's head. I like Guppy's head better. It's one use recharge. It's going to give us flies. The flies are going to start doing some serious damage as we get further. These floors, man, they're super long. I can really use a mapping effect. Mapping would be nice so we can figure out where we're going quicker and not have to explore the entire floor. But, you know, if this episode's like an hour and a half, it's going to be an hour and a half. <laughs> I don't want it to be. I want to go to sleep, but uh, it's okay. I also enjoy playing this game, so... I can't complain all that much. Alright, guys. Get out of here. Don't even say Get your blind maggots out of my face. You never stood a chance and you never will. Alright, cool. Let's get a mapping effect. God damn it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Alright. Still. I, I'm sad that I'm taking damage on like the easiest enemies, too. It's alright. What are we getting here? Yes! Compass is exactly what we needed. We couldn't have asked for anything better. And both of our items, our item room and our boss room are down here. I think because of the nature of this run, I'm not going to try to explore the entirety of a floor. We're going to go basically for special rooms. Directly for them. So this is a dead end, so we're going to have to take the long way around. Oh, you know what? It might not be the long way around. we got to double check. I'm thinking it's the room above us and to the left a little bit so like one up and two to the left might have a downwards facing room that will lead to the rest of the rooms yeah that would have been a mistake if I had gone the other way we would have we would have been wandering around for a while but compass is a lifesaver and a time saver you know the greatest commodity of all is our time left on this earth so it's not bad to <laughs> you know kind of hurry this up what do you guys think the item's gonna be? It's gonna be something about being big, right? It's gotta be. Maybe it's another mapping item? I can't... It wouldn't be another mapping item. What we got here? Well, I think this is a just tough love. Significantly better than, uh... Than Mom's eyeshadow. I, I like Mom's eyeshadow, don't get me wrong. And, it, you know, Charm Tears of the new tier effects that have existed in Rebirth, not Afterbirth. Rebirth. I, I really like Charm Tears. But... I actually saw a really cool one earlier in another run that I think I had just uh, last episode. I think it was last episode. And I got rid of it and I felt really bad about it considering that we still lost. But um, <laughs> it was... Uh, oh, there's a dice room. Not where to keep going. Um, it was like shots that stick to enemies and then explode after a certain amount of time. It was really sweet. Okay. Everything's in op opposite directions. So we're going to... We're going to explore a little bit here. It's going to take us a little bit longer. But that's okay. Use that. We'll probably be doing some serious damage with the teeth as they come out. Because I do believe they're like three times damage or something like that. Um, and we already have half decent damage with... Uh, oh god, with uh, Small Rock and Blood Clot. 
I think those are, are two, but they're still... Oh, and Halo. And they're not they're not bad. Halo's probably the worst damage upgrade out of all of those, but... Nothing to complain about, for sure. We're pretty strong for this point in the game. It's always nice. Oh my god. Will you ever die? Just took a whole heart of damage there. I didn't want to, but I did. Holy shit. Alright. Not that it was hard, but it was just like, whoa. Hurry up. I don't want to be here till tomorrow. I want to get some sleep tonight. Alright. Come on. I ain't afraid. God. Host. I can't handle your shit right now. Super Meat Boy Super Fan, I think, is the obvious choice here. This is an all stats upgrade again. And it turns us into Meat Boy, dog. Okay, all stats up. We're gonna go down here to the shop. Yeah, the shop. I had to think about it for a second. Is it the shop? We're still going pretty fast. Not super fast, but like... If this were a regular run, it wouldn't make boss rush, obviously, but it would still be like, you're going at a half decent pace. It's a run that could use some work, essentially. And it's not... I, I think this run is going just fine. It's peachy keen. We have damage. We have health. We're very balanced, I think, in the best way possible. Um, you know, we're not balanced and, like, not fantastic. We're clearing rooms fairly quickly. We have no risk of really dying anytime soon. All the good stuff. Running into rooms I've run into before in, in Rebirth. Oh, man, the paper sack. We gotta pick it up. Sack head. More sacks. Oh, we get more sacks. And the sacks are really good. Cool. Like it. I've, so far, I've really enjoyed basically every item that I've run into in Afterbirth. Okay, should we go check out that double chest room? I think we should. While we're here, if we're going to go anywhere near it, we should. How far up is it? It's not too far up. I think we'll be okay. Sorry if that bugs you when I look at the map up there. I just need to in order to see where we're going. I don't mean to offend. All right. Get out of here, you charging bastards. Leave me alone. Oh, another sack. And inside is... Oh, the sacks are so good. Sun card. Sweet. I killed that Diglett before he even had a chance to do his thing. Rest in peace. God, like, by more sacks, they meant, like, a lot more sacks. I think I've had one, like, almost every room. If not almost every other room. Way. Rip. Also, I should be using Guppy Head. I don't. I kind of don't even want to go. I'm gonna go around this way. So I think it's L room, and then the room connecting to the L room. So. Also, L room is my. Uh, I don't know. It's my Hispanic name. That's not true. <laughs> and I'm. I'm Hispanic, like my father is, but uh, I don't think I'm. I consider myself Caucasian, so I'm sorry if that offended anybody. I have no right to uh, say things as I did. I apologize. All right. On another note, let's see what's inside this double key door. Boop. Cool. Come on. Yeah. Okay, it's just a bunch of chests. Could be, oh my god. So many sacks. Got sacks for days. We have so many flies. High Priestess. I like the sun card better. Show me what you're working with. Oh my god. Jesus. Two of diamonds. Joker card. Joker card significantly better. Algae's resistance. Have we gone to the boss fight yet? No. Okay. So yeah, I think we definitely have to take the Joker card. And basically, if we do not get a deal with the devil, we take it. Um, because that's how it works. Oh, Jesus. I can see forever. Ow. See, that's how I'm going to end up dying, is taking damage like that. That wasn't even difficult, I was just being lazy. Not like it matters. I know, I just, uh, did that not, uh, you know, I didn't min-max that perfectly. I didn't optimize it. it. wasn't an optimal play, but 
I'm just being lazy right now, and I think I can afford to be lazy. Oh, we get... We're gonna get to deal with the devil item from Krampus, too. Or not Krampus, the Fallen. Krampus with a different color scheme, basically. And who splits into tinier Krampuses. How are you still alive? You just got owned by a tooth. Alright, that's a really shitty deal with the devil item, but we're gonna pick it up so it doesn't appear in this other one. We gotta deal with the devil here. Oh, sweet. Bring it on, you dirty hand. I ain't afraid. Oh, it's just a regular one, too. Last time I did this, I had to fight a... What's him called? Oh, you know what we should try? Just in case? Okay. I have to make sure. I haven't done that yet in Afterbirth. Who knows? Could have happened. Could have worked. There's Mom. She's watching television. And... The Lost was the one who was talking to her? Hmm. Suspicious. It's putting some things together here. I don't even know if that's what that was. But... That's what I thought it was. I should probably look at the map before I start walking around. Nothing down here. <laughs> I should have noticed because there's no doors, but let's see. Oh, we need to go right for our item or our shop, so let's do that. We'll go right to get to our shop first. Get rid of all these cute little dingles. Yeah, we're doing really good. I don't even remember what our... Oh, we got Horde Babylon. Just in case. Just in case. Okay, all the flies we could ever want. I don't actually want health that bad. There's nothing I could really get from bum friend, the beggar here, that I could really be super interested in. We got a very strong run. I think it's very, very solid. What is this? Emergency contact? Hmm. I don't know what that means. What is emergency con- Okay, so we have a new consumable that I have no idea what it does. We'll have to figure that out. Emergency contact. Just thought I would use it to see if that was something that could be uh, helpful. What is this? I, we can take both. Although I don't know if- Jar of flies. Gotta catch them all. Okay, so I imagine you just catch flies with it. I don't know which is better. And then, of course, we have the battery. So let's take this. Then we'll take the... So we'll use it. Then we'll take the battery. Lightning bolt. Use it again. Then we'll take the jar of flies and we'll just go with it. We'll see how it works. It might not work at all. Who knows? This might have been a terrible decision, but... I had to at least try it, you know? <laughs> it's a never-ending chain. Two of clubs. Okay, item room is the other direction. My guess? We have one fly? How do you catch flies? I don't understand. Oh, every fly we kill, we put one in the jar. And then we can release them. So it's kind of like Guppy's head, except I just have to kill flies in order to... Oh, I can kill spiders too? Oh, dude. Sweet. I gotta see if there's a max, like a cap. So we're at 9. 10. Oh, it doesn't seem like there's a cap yet. We'll release them when the time is right. Our army... I don't see any downside to doing this at all. <laughs> like just blowing all of these up. Because we're just going to get cards. It's an emperor card. And keys and more sacks. Dude. Sweet. Jesus. We're going to be stuck here forever if I keep doing this. Oh god. Oh lord. There's so many... So many things for spawning. I could go back and get Guppy's head. Okay, we're gonna blow up these three and that's gonna be it. Okay, penny, thing, penny, coin. We haven't gotten a single luck penny this round. Okay, so we can use the Joker card here. 
We have four. There's four hearts. We're gonna definitely take all of them, basically. So we're running completely on spirit hearts, and we also have four of Babylon. So this is essentially exactly what we wanted. We're so fast. Damn. We're uh we're doing good. I think this is this run's been a huge success for the most part. Well, I, I, I'm excited to let loose my fly army, but I kind of want to save it for like a boss fight or something. Hopefully you guys agree and understand. We're going to see how many of these things we can... Oh, we can only have 20 at a time? Dumb. That's alright. That's silly. Jesus. Magician. Strength. Consumables. Alright. Grab the Joker card and let's get out of here. Did he just eat my flies? That bastard. Oh no, I bet the flies attack the uh, the maggot and they can't be hurt and the, it just falls apart. Um, Virgo? Cool. So I think this is like sometimes temporary invincibility and some other stuff. Might drop more red hearts than usual. Or like red hearts are worth double, I don't remember. Something like that. So. All in all, not too bad. Okay, we gotta keep going right. Head right. How did we not go in this room? Oh, we went around. Super confused there. But then I was okay. Then I learned. These count? Oh, they totally do! It's any spider or fly, and we can have 20. Damn. Cool. I'm okay with that. Or is it every enemy we kill? It might just be every enemy we kill, but... I don't fully understand. Someone teach me what is happening. 13. Okay. 14. I think it's every enemy. Can we confirm on these guys? No, okay. It's not every enemy. They just have to be spider-based? Bug-based? Insectoid? Why does the skeleton count? Maybe because it's a... Uh, it's got a carapace in the form of its skeleton. It's got an exoskeleton. I don't know. These are questions beyond me. Okay, that should destroy him. Wow. I kind of really like Jar of Flies. Okay. Torn photo. Gonna greatly increase our shot speed or our tier rate here. I forgot. We already took everything from this deal with the devil. And we're on to uh, Necropolis 2. I do believe. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got about one more deal with the devil to handle. Shouldn't be a problem, though. We're gonna save this Joker card for when we don't get a deal with the devil. We'll see how unlikely it is, but... I know we have a lot of items and... Oh, well, never mind. We're just gonna use the Joker card here. We'll take it. It's Book of Sin. Which is a really shitty one, but... It is what it is. The fool. Yeah, rune. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, so okay. I what I'm gonna do? We're gonna come back for that Joker card, but I think we can use the Yara rune on uh, on the shop. Just get free consumables, cause why not? I don't really have any other use for it right now. I don't think we can. We might not be going to the chest on this run. <laughs> Throat's being weird. But yeah, there's a chance that we don't go to the. We're not going to the chest. Like, the game won't progress that far. Oh, I hate this room so much. God damn it. Mask of Infamy is still the most bullshit enemy. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Virgo. Thank God. We lost a lot of health there. But it is what it is. Alright. One down. Two down. Cool. Double key room contains a one. This rerolls our whole run, doesn't it? I think it does. That scares me a lot. 
I like our run too much to re-roll it. I'm sorry if that upsets people. I really do. Bombs are key. Uh, but that's what I'm that's what I've decided to do. Thanks, computer. You know I always appreciate it. When you do those things to me. Alright. Bam. Could be anything. We're gonna take it. Stopwatch. Well, it's <laughs> GG. One run. Alright. Couldn't see what it was. Got Halo of Flies. Not terrible. We'll uh, Yara rune what's down here. Yara. So we can get a free version of each. So why not? Cool. Probably also pick up the Spirit Heart for a few cents. Then we gotta go back. Because we need to get our Joker card from the big room. And then from there, we'll head to the boss. Cool. Easy peasy. Again, this run's going a little bit slow. But not for your typical average reasons. It's probably going slow due to the fact that each floor is an XL floor. So, we'll have to live with that. Also, this is going to make the game so easy. Hopefully, it makes it a lot faster, too. We'll see. Oh, my God. Okay. Fool, fool, gotcha. No problems there. I can live with it. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go in, we're just gonna drop the jar of flies immediately. That way, if we have more of them, we'll just uh, pick them up as we go through the fight, which we did. Picked up four. Jar of Flies is super good. It's almost, it's not quite Mulligan, like it's it's not quite Guppy Mulligan, but it's really good. Polaroid's gonna give us a temporary invincibility every time that we get hit, which is awesome. We already took everything from our deal with, no we didn't, fuck. I'm an idiot. Oh we did, it was the Book of Sin. Oh I can't believe I used my Joker card. I'm an idiot. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> there's a deal with the devil, and I didn't even realize, like, the hearts weren't underneath it. Okay, so we're on Utero 1. All we have to do is go to the boss room, so... It's not this way. I don't even need to blow out of this, but I'm going to. Because we have so many. Okay. We're gonna have to go the long way around. Deal. Could have been anything. We really should be looking at all of those things in case they are yet another Yera, Yera, not Yera or uh, um, the other one, <laughs> Joker card. Because I feel really stupid for getting rid of that Joker card. I'm sorry, everybody. It's all my fault. Holy shit! Chastise me all you want. I can take it. This game does not want me to sleep. I have to go all the way up and around the whole thing. You're gonna have me go up the whole thing? Jesus. All right. Well. Okay. I can live with it. What do we have instead of the fool? Empress is pretty good, but I think we already have Horde Babylon. <laughs> Fate's like yo. You definitely want to reroll everything you have. Maybe we should take emergency contact. Help from above. Mom. I don't know what it does. Okay, we're gonna take it with us to the Isaac fight. Like, we're gonna try it on the Isaac fight. Maybe, or I guess we might not fight Isaac on this. So, I guess we'll take it to... Not this fight, but the next one. The mom's heart fight. Okay. Emergency contact. I'm just trying to think of what it could be. Like, my brain wants to say it's basically High Priestess, but it's an, I don't think it is. Triacnid. Oh, okay, there we go. Emergency contact, wall master. Just grabs him and holds him. No, why did I take placenta? Well, there goes Horde Babylon. So we just lost a lot of damage. 100% my fault. Um, 
But I think we're still doing enough for it to be okay. We're just not doing quite as much. Which is still pretty good. So, I wouldn't be too worried. I don't think we've goofed it up quite yet. Deal with the devil. Card against humanity. Hero font. Uh, Hierophant. My bad. I will never say that correctly. It just won't happen. I guess we can use this on like... A room where it's pertinent. I don't know where that would be. The sack seems like really good. <laughs> like almost a little too good. But maybe I'm just lucky. Seems like a very, very solid uh, store item though. Is this is a dingle? It is a dingle. Rest in peace, dingle. Okay. I mean, I definitely am not worried about us losing. What? Four way. It's not loud. Cheater. I couldn't tell if he was a champion or a different color because it's, uh, stopwatched. How dare you cheat, says the guy with the stopwatch. How could you do this to me? Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Dead. Two cards. High Priestess, the moon. Oh god, so many sacks. Luck up. One of those was a luck penny, I guess. I don't know the difference. I'll have to go back and like rewatch in like slow motion before I pick it up. Why did I do that? That wasn't very far. Thank you. I, I knew. I know I'm a fool. I'm a gosh darn fool. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, so boss, I hope is this direction. Pray is this direction. We have infinite keys, we might as well. Tammy's head! It's not that good. I, can, I think I like jar flies better. Tammy head, Tammy's head would be awesome, but we don't have the synergies for it to be cool. We don't have anything interesting. Our damage isn't great enough. This room is this room is super easy to stopwatch. Bring it on, you half diglets. I'm not afraid. Diglet dig, motherfucker. All right, super meat, meat beast, Frankenstein's meat. Ah, range up. Right. It lives. I hope this is the end. We get called an episode. Damn it. The tears aren't big enough to stop him. Get out of here. Eat my flies. Dead. Is that it? Yeah, we got the trophy. Boom. Done. We unlocked Goldheart, has appeared in the basement. Sweet. Alright, everybody, thank you for watching. If you liked what you watched, please leave a like or subscribe. You know, if you subscribe, I'll give you more videos. It'll happen. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.